hey what's up in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to create aluminium or composite cladding in revit whichever one you want to create they are all created in the same way all right so in this tutorial we're going to be creating the panel we will edit the panel okay we will edit the millions of the panel of the of the cladding panel we are going to also add doors and windows to the cladding panel all right and every other thing in between so without any further ado let's get started to create a cladding panel in revit we're going to use cutting wall so on the architecture tab on the build panel select the wall tool okay let's go over here and select the stuff from this one we're going to be using just because it has some level of details to it mind you, you can use any one you want you are going to add all these things anyway so you select the, the cutting wall and then let's open the type properties this is where we're going to make it but before we do that let me first of all go to the 3d view so we're going to so that we can see what we are doing all right okay so let me position it this way select it again let's open the type properties now the first thing we are going to do is we are going to duplicate it and name it cladding panel all right and then say okay the next thing we are going to do is come over to the cutting panel change it from glaze to solid cladding panels are solid they're not glazed all right so the next important thing we are going to do is change the vertical grid the spacings of the vertical grid and the horizontal grid so to do that you're just going to come over here leave it the maximum spacing that's what we want and then put 900 here and leave this one at 24. now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the the vertical millions and the horizontal millions all of them we're going to make them 30 millimeter square just to speed things up, I'm going to highlight this one and then I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it in other ones. All right. Just click out so you be able to select the other one. Okay. So now we have set all the millions to 30 millimeters square. Okay. So we are done setting this thing. So hit OK. All right let's set this thing to consistent color so we can appreciate it more all right so you can see we have our aluminium cladding the panels you can see the panels you can see the million with which it, was, it is going to be faced to the wall okay so that's how you create aluminium cladding this tutorial we're done with it now let's get into customizations all right how you edit the panel how you edit the million okay how you add doors and windows in case you want to do that all right so to be able to edit the panel all we need to do is come over to the family on the project browser you will see the family drop it down okay you are going to see the cutting panel the cuttings and the cutting the one we're going to be working with is the cutting panels and then the cutting one million so when you drop this cutting panels down you're going to see empty system panel you're going to see the system panel drop this one down you will see the glazed and then the solid this is the one we use so double click it when you double click it the type properties of the solid panels will come out so here you can set the offset all right here you can set the thickness all right that's where we set the material so you can set the materials from there and then the thickness like i said before but before we do anything let's go and set let's go back to the floor plan view so we'll be seeing everything we're doing all right so over here let's double click it again okay now we can remove this offset when we set it to zero you will see the cutting wall position itself itself at the middle of the mullion okay let's take it back because i like i just like the way it is offset let's set it back to okay this is where we set the materials from all right like i said before this is where we set materials from we can make it whatever we want it to be okay we can change it to green or anything i don't want to change the materials for now let's leave it at default so the thickness this is where you change the thickness if you make it 150 from here you are going to get a 150 cladding all right so let's take it back let's make it 50 all right or Let's make it system like it was before so that's how you edit the cutting panels let's say you want to edit the millions you just come over here you see our rectangle millions you see the 30 millimeter square double click it to 
it will come out like this. So this is where we did the 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 cutting mulliams. Okay, so you can set the angle and the offset from here. Okay, it will tilt it. All right, there's a tutorial I've done on cutting wall. If you want to understand how the angles and offset um, affect cutting wall, I'll put a link in the description for you to be able to do that. All right. So now this is. The, we have the thickness this is what controls the dimensions of it we have the thickness and we have the we have the dimensions the width on side one and side two okay this thickness controls the the size the fatness of this you know going from up to down whereas these 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 dimensions affect the gaps you have between the two panels okay let's just go ahead let me put 15 here okay and then hit okay all right you notice that the the cutting panels just get thinner so if i should make this one seven and also make this one seven and then I, I hit apply you also notice that the gaps between the two panels just got shorter or smaller so that is basically and then you can change the material from here too okay it's come here you create do whatever you want you select material and then you apply it and then hit the ok button all right so let's go back to the tree review now i want us to add i want us to add um doors and windows to this aluminium cladding panel all right so let's load in the way i like to do it let's load in the doors and windows the, that can host on cutting walls okay so now when you select when you hover around the cladding you will see that you'll be selecting the segments okay but if you want to select the panel tap hit the tab button till you come around it and then you select it now you can change what we have here to this is a door that's the window to a window like so now we have a window fitted into our wall cladding aluminium wall cladding so let's say we want to put a door want to fit a door right here the same way we did it the first time you hit the tab button you select it you unpin it you have to unpin it to be able to use the type selector to select what you want and you fix the door where you want the door to be all right now let's say this door is too high or too short and you want to you want this door to occupy, occupy the gap of two million all you need to do is select the segment click on add or, add or remove segment and then click on it okay you see you're now occupying the space of two segments let's say you want to extend this window into these two places all right all you have to do is do the same thing select the segment click here and then remove it now the window has circulated in between these places all right you can also add it back by selecting and adding it back okay let's go over here and then do the same thing for here to be back all right so that is how you create aluminium cladding panel or composite panel in revit okay i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give us a like if you are new to this channel consider subscribing okay not only subscribing ring the bell so you don't miss any of our future tutorials thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next video